Um, and I'm going to throw you a curveball. I know you say you don't yeah. like to theorize, but I'm going to throw a theory at you. A little <laughs> mild prediction. What do you think it's going to be like if Victor reunites with his sister? Oh, yeah, that's a curveball. Thanks a lot. You're going to get me all emotional here. <laughs> Awesome. Emmanuel, so my man Scott, what's going on? McCord, it is so great to talk <laughs> to you again, my friend. Too, man. Oh my gosh, this is so look so at the look at look at the shirt. You, I love the listen, shirt. You know I have to represent. You know Wait. I have to. You're sporting the flag, I I can't I tell you how to. much I appreciate that today. Oh come on, man! You I got doing... I got the the mug going. Oh, see now we got to compete. Now I got to go get the mug. I'm not I'm not competing. No, man, you that. Well, I got to send look. you a shirt then. I got to send you a shirt. Send, I, We'll send you one of these. You got one of these? I don't. All right. I drink see coffee, too. See if we can too. get you one of these. I'll okay. see what I can pull. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, all right. Look, so. Good seeing you, man. You have been peeling away the layers when it comes to Victor and his character. Mm -hmm. And it has been such a revelation um, just to see your work in this, right? Thank so, you so much. So, I guess my question is especially with this new revelation of him yeah. having a sister mm -hmm. can you walk me through what it was like when you when you found this out on the script yeah. and what fed your performance to bring that to life yeah man that was i'm sure you can imagine uh was uh it's jeff pinkner and john griffin you know that they that's you know when we, they talk about milestones mm -hmm. for the season that was a milestone and that was one that i'll say this i didn't see coming you know i don't do too much theorizing you know what I mean? But I, I, I thought that maybe Victor's arc was going a certain way, and that just took it obviously somewhere. Yeah, you know, I, I just never saw that coming. Mm -hmm. um, so I had enough advanced prep in terms of the sh shooting days of that particular scene at the car, where it's you know I, I have that, that moment, and the and. Yeah, man, it was a lot of homework, you know, a lot of prep, a lot of, uh, I mean, I've been doing that over the season anyway, with just, you know, with, with, with the controversial, still controversial subject of uh, repressed memories and trauma and, and, uh, and all that. But I felt like uh, uh, I knew it was uncharted territory and I was root for me and I was really excited to, uh, to go in it. And I, you know, I have this beauty man of this thing with Victor where he just really is his own enigma, you know, so I went in, I went in with the sense that like, it doesn't have to be like anything else is that, you know, that we, you know, research aside and all that Victor can react in whatever way, whatever way, you know, I just have to be there emotionally full so that, you know, when that moment arrives and luckily I've got Catalina in the scene with me, who's amazing. I've got to, you know, Brad Turner was directing, was great. Um, you know, and, and, and cast crew, everybody there that was, you know, just, just a little land of love that that allows for something like that to happen. And I'll go back again. And the beauty of of uh, of, of John Griffin's creation and Pinkner and, and those guys coming up with that. Um, it's not to say I wasn't scared as hell, man. I was, mm -hmm. you know. That's uh, like I said, uncharted territory. But I I uh, I'm 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 pleased with how the whole the whole Victor arc this season has gone. Anyways, just in terms of what they gave me, I was so happy about it. Oh my gosh, no, it's it's been so fulfilling. Um, mm. to see that from him um, and I'm going to throw you a curveball I know you say you yeah. don't like to theorize but I'm going to throw a theory at you a little mild prediction Okay, I think given the final you know the finale and, and the big reveal mm -hmm. with Tabitha mm -hmm. Victor revealed that you know like his he found his mother there but we didn't yeah. hear anything about his sister so I'm wondering if his sister is alive runs into Tabitha for whatever crazy reason they go back to Frumville what do you think it's going to be like if Victor reunites with his sister? Oh, yeah, that's a curveball. Thanks a lot. You're going to get me all emotional here. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I that's oh, it's beautiful, man. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I, I, there's certain things that I don't, I don't, I, the reason I'll, I'll go back to the theorizing. The reason that I don't go too, too far in that, in that direction, but I love that. They should throw you in the writer's room, man, is what they should do. Anytime. <laughs> anytime um is the is the fact that i always try and go as far as victor's going just in terms of my own work do you know what i mean yeah or we got to remember that he he says it he's like there's i don't think there's a way out of here 
Mm. You know, so I think that any of those sort of thoughts, anything dreamy thoughts of, of optimism, it's not to say that they're they're not there for me, but I feel like Victor's just still going from moment to moment to you know to the next thing to the next thing, and it, and there's this whole thing with Tabitha and feeling his greater purpose in this maternal relationship. I've been really focused. I think he's very focused on that at the moment. Um, but we'll see, man, if we get season three, right? Uh, yeah, there's got to be some kind of development with this sister thing, you'd think, right? I'd, I'd got to go somewhere. So. I'd hope right? so. Now, are we still, because I'm hearing mixed reports. Are okay. we still waiting for season three to be greenlit? Some places are saying yeah, there's it been is. no official confirmation. Nothing official. You know. Okay. I would tell you, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay. No, <laughs> please do. No, no. I mean, if there was, I'm hanging in know. suspense here. <laughs> I know. I know. We're all like, ah. right. um, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, no, no official thing. I think that just everybody's just got to just keep plowing through and get to this final episode. And, uh, and let's just see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look, if there's anything that the Fromily can do to help make this thing happen, please let yeah, us man. know. We'll Bless you for yeah. we'll, We'll yeah. petition whatever needs to happen because yeah. we can't stay where we just left off. Certainly not. And I appreciate that. And I think, you know what? Let's just get them to let's get them to episode 10. You know, let's let's get them to watch episode 10. And by the way, man, bless you. I love your what is it? What do you call it? Your from um test that you developed? Oh, the uh the from challenge. Challenge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. No, I've gotten plenty of people it's hooked so on good. just yeah. off of that. So but I think working. it works. It does I think work. it works. Yes. No, I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So like I've noticed because you were talking about Victor uh, and the maternal stuff that was going on. I also noticed that he's starting to change a little bit yeah. in terms of how he's dealing with Ethan also. Yeah. You know, it's, <clears throat> it's almost like he's becoming kind of protective. Can you talk about that that shift mm -hmm. that's happening with him right now? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, with Ethan, you know, that was a really beautiful Again, the part of that arc that Victor's going through in terms of those connections. Uh, I think that, you know, there was a moment early on, if you remember, where, you know, Ethan comes in his room and he's mad because, you know, they'd been in his room and it was left disheveled and he was blaming Ethan for it. Mm -hmm. And in that little conversation that they were having, Victor realizes that Ethan might not be connected to the boy in white and everything in the same way that he is by the very fact that he doesn't know certain things. Mm -hmm. And then Victor spends the rest of that time staying away from him for fear of him getting hurt in some way, not pulling him into this thing. But of course, trying Victor's just not obviously good at communicating that uh, to him. So it came out in lashing out at them about the orange markers and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but yeah. he's protecting him. He's totally protecting him, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's still something there. I mean, Ethan clearly, you know, has a connection to this place you know, in some way. Hey, look, Scott, thank you so, so much. Thank you, man. Time. I really appreciate it. Like Love I said, you're you. doing great work here. Thank and you. I thank cannot you. wait for everyone else to see what you got stored for us in the future. Thanks, thank you again, sir. I appreciate you. Cheers. All right. Be well, man. Have a good summer. Thank you. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out the next time I drop a video. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.